All right. Uh, it's Friday. Me and Dan are both off work. And it's time to get this S10 back together so we can drive it. It's been sitting in the yard for like three weeks. And all it needs is the bed done. And I got to zip tie a couple more wires. And Dawson's bringing me two shorter tires for the front today. Uh, it needed two tires anyway. Um, as you can see, those are a little dry rotted. So I got two good tires and two older tires. We're going to keep the two good ones, put them on the back, flip the tread around the right way because they were on backwards on somebody's vehicle at some point. And this bed. Tell them what we're doing, Dan. Fisno, raise the bed floor. All right, so. Eight inches. Yeah, so eight, we need eight inches. All right. My plan is I'm going to body drop this truck three and a half inches. That would be, uh, the pinch is going to go away. That'll be to the rocker. The notch from the bed bolt holes up, I need four and a half inches to clear the notch. Then I need to add three and a half more inches so that I don't have to rebody drop the bed when I do the cab. Um, so that's how we ended up with eight inches. All right. What I'm going to do on this one, I'm going to do this one a little different than I did Nelson's. I'm going to leave this rearmost cross member. That's where your factory bed bolts are up under there. I just went up under the bottom, drilled a hole on each side. And we actually run a piece of string through there or a piece of wire and pulled it tight and put a mark. And I'm going to cut that there and then I'll sheet metal that once uh, we get the bed floor raised up. Over here... There is a straight line that goes all the way down this bed that I know is gonna be level. So that's gonna be my cut mark. And then I come down eight inches, made me a mark, and then I went up one inch. I'm actually gonna cut it on the seven inch mark and then overlap that with the eight inch mark and line those two up and tack weld them together. The next problem is the wheel tubs. I only have, on top of this wheel tub, to the top of this bed is only six and a half inches. So if I tried to keep the wheel tub, it would be an inch and a half above the bed, which is no good. So we're gonna cut the wheel tubs completely out and I guess we'll just build new ones. I really wanted to keep the stock wheel tubs, but it didn't work out. I could have made the notch a little smaller, but then if I decided to put 20s on it or 22s on it, I wouldn't have enough notch. So this is our next best, best option, I guess. And it gives us a chance to play with the new bead roller over there. That Dawson got us. Anything you want to say? Hurry up. Get it. Shut up. <laughs> Look. They talking like they don't know a king when they see one. See him in person, he take it back like a refund. Balling with my brothers, all my niggas playing D1. Daily checking chicken, he gon' spin and watch it reruns. Niggas say they real, but they clones of me. How my cousin in the pen with more phones than me. I got daily correspondence, we tapping in with the goonies. Tatted tagging my body, they tagging me like they knew me. They actually living goofy, I'm blunted tagging the coochie. Flicking flex in the muscle like penitentiary Gucci. Been addicted to Stussy and blunts hitting like roofies. I ain't tripping off you cause I been tripping off Lucy. I'm lucid dreaming and scheming, I'm manifesting a movie. Manuscript in a million, I thought that you niggas knew me. Focusing on the Fetty, the longevity lifestyle. Build a future me, what I'm usually doing right now. I'm smoking with my shot we plotting another hundred grand. Hear them talk a lot, but they knowin' who got the upper hand. Ride by my sister, I'm dying about my brother, man. Leaning out the window, we got him doing the running, man. Smoking with my shawty, we plotting another hundred grand. Hear them talk a lot, but they knowin' who got the upper hand. Slide by my sister, I'm dying about my brother, man. Currency from Europe, my energy from the motherland. 
Niggas tweet a lot, we never seen them in the city though. Taking rent money out to flash it in the video. Staring at the real niggas when they know it hurt, man. Cool, clean, block, dirty, dirty as your work hands. I just got a pallet of product, I'm about to flip it. I don't really got all the minutes for me to kick it. Bought my chick a LLC, we bout to scale it. Partner say he growing some weed, I told him mail it. Cooling with my man, he kinda mama by the ocean. Only problem that we got is running out of low shit. Get into the chicken, let a black man live. I got more rolls on me than a fat man ribs. Never met a single nigga that'll make me feel fear. They be throwing salt in the game, we still here. We don't hear the shit that he's saying. All right, so what we got here is we got the sides cut. Just cut rough around the fender well because we're not keeping any of that. Um, we took seven inches out from here to here. And this is the eight inch mark. Uh, I'm gonna grind most of that and leave a little bit where we have some marks to line up um, all the way around. That way, uh, when we get ready, we can weld it. I already ground this before we started. And the front, I gotta grind it top and bottom. And this rear, uh, once I get everything welded up where I can let the tailgate down, I'll uh, fill that gap in that's gonna be there. It's gonna be a eight inch gap. Uh, now I got to get under there and cut the fender wheels loose and take these support rods loose. And then once we get that cut, I can zip this right here off and get this piece out of the way. And then we can cut these four corners and the bed floor will be ready to raise up. Or in this case, we're, we got the bed floor on stand. So we're going to drop the bed down to it. And I hope we're high enough off the ground. Are we? Find out a little bit. Yeah, we didn't measure it, so. We're winging it. Yeah, we're winging it. All right, we'll get back at it. All right, so here's where we're at now. We got this uh, raised up eight inches all the way around, tacked together. I have one ugly crew. Well, he's pretty sexy. <laughs> Helping us. I just started tack welding the front and realized I wasn't filming because I put my phone on charger. So I'm gonna get it tacked all the way around. Uh, cut something eight inches real quick. Stick it on the truck, make sure all the body lines are good. Go from there. A million and a half more tacks to go and we'll have it there. It's what you do every day, ain't it? You hate it? Pretty, pretty good. Alright, 
All right, so because we're geniuses, we grabbed two four by fours off the floor, pieces of wood, good. and stuck it on top of the frame and said, oh, that's eight inches. People that work with wood are laughing at us because four by fours are not four by four. They are actually three and a half by three and a half. So that makes seven. They yeah, they lied to us. So we had to go find some one by one to put on top of it. But it's pretty close now. Y'all saw it. Hold on. Ta-da. And all it's doesn't even hardly tuck wheel glory. Time to body drop it. <laughs> and it never ends. Another day. Same POS truck. All right. What we're doing here is we drug an old piece of sheet metal out that was piled up in the corner. It's the only piece I had in the whole place that was long enough. This is... 54 and 5 eighths by eight and a half. And where that is gonna go, is to fill this gap in here at the back. We're gonna fill this in. We're gonna run the sheet metal up to the edge of the ribs, up to here, weld it all the way across, grind it down, yada, yada, yada. Fill in the corners where we can with sheet metal. And we're getting closer do that because the bed is flexing like really bad and that needs to be done before it goes back on the truck so i don't lose a bedside driving down the highway that would be terrible and we've also got the bed braces i got those cut i don't know where they're at at the moment oh, here they are uh so what i do with these is i cut them and then i get a piece of uh, pipe that'll go barely over that cut it about i don't know Nine inches long, I think, is going to be my number. That weld to overlap them about a half an inch on each end. I bolt these up with the pipe in there, tack it in, pull them back off, weld them solid. And that keeps the bedside from flopping. Helps brace everything back up. And then once we get that welded in and the bed brace is done, we got to build stands for it to sit on. And spray a little paint on it and be ready to go back on the truck. Getting closer. What we got is, that is the factory bed braces. It was like that. Same thing we done on Nelson's truck. We ain't got a piece of pipe, barely fits over it. We're just gonna sleeve it. We're gonna bolt them on the truck, get them where they need to be, tack it, and then we'll pull it back off and weld it good. We're gonna do that four times because uh, it keeps that from happening. So, here goes nothing. All right, so I got my piece of sheet metal cut to fill the gap at the back. Um, just drew me out a real simple little line around it the bead roll i'm gonna leave the center open not bead roll anything there because i want to find an old chevrolet tailgate um like this s10 tailgate that's got the chevrolet stamped in it and i'd like to go in there and cut this out and weld the uh chevrolet emblem in and i'm not good enough with a bead roller to write chevrolet on there so i'm not gonna even gonna try but bead roll around this uh bead right here and that ought to brace it up a little bit, make it where it ain't so flimsy, and get that guy welded in.
All right, so we uh, welding and grinding, keeping all the ribs. We gotta do some more welding here. Uh, the bottom, just gonna run some seam seal. And I said earlier, I was just gonna make this one loop, but we ended up splitting it right here in the center. It's kind of hard to tell because I didn't grind that all the way down to shiny metal. And that's, let's say, fill a few holes in, that's welded. Uh, the plan is to come off here, and go to the floor with some sheet metal. Not today, but that's the plan. So I'm not really too worried about that right there because all that's going to be behind the sheet metal. You won't be able to see it. And it's tacked all the way around nice and solid. And same for this side. And the wheel toes, we're not real sure about them yet. The way it's looking, we might have to split them down the middle, widen them out, and put them back in. And... That's where we're at at the moment. Looks like he's about to kill somebody. No, not, not yet. Mm -hmm. Maybe later. Hey, I think you need the four pound. The big hammer. I'll just play it. Don't, don't do it. I mean, I can use it. Yeah, I can. <laughs> yeah. Also here, uh, I'm going to cut a piece of metal to cap that and brace that back up. I hadn't made that far yet, but that's the plan. Also stepped on a tailgate a while ago in the bed, um, done a wheelie, and almost threw me on the welder. Scared these guys. You should leave that. What's that? The smoke? The smoke. Yeah, smoke. Smoke effect. Hmm. A lot of people pay good money for that real fire and real flame shit. The eyes, my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I probably should have pressure washed it, being it's uh, slightly filthy. What'd you say? All right, so we cut some little filler panels there, tacked them in the front, built some stands. Very simple, same principle as we done on Nelson's truck, but um, smaller because these bed bolts are smaller. Uh, we've welded the factory bed bolt to a piece of pipe. Can't see it. Welded a 3 8 nut in there. That screws into the bed. Lines up factory bed holes, put a 3 8 bolt in it with a washer, good to go. All right, we're going to put it on the truck, make sure all the body lines line up. And then I'm going to find me a steak. I'm done for the day. Quesadillas. Yeah, quesadillas is pretty good, dude. <laughs> Are you going to uh, back this in over here or what? Oh. Good job. <laughs> She's playing jump rope with a piece of string. Good job. Slam the tailgate. Ta -da. Dude, I've been welding and cutting and grinding on this thing for two days and it still don't have wheel tubes. But it's on the truck. Yeah. Better than a hole in the back. Yeah. Well. So one hole you got two. All right, so the next project is the wheel tubs, and we've got an idea that we're going to try. Uh, I want it under the bed rail. I don't want it above it, so I needed to take two and three quarter inches off of the factory one. About to cut that off, and then we're going to split it and add metal to make it wide enough, and we're probably about to ruin them. Why are you lying to dead people? <laughs> that we're about to ruin them? Mm -hmm. nah, good, probably, good yeah, chance. good chance. Alright. Alright, so uh factory wood we cut two and three quarter off the bottom. Here's what we're going for. Going right under that lip. Just like that. I'm about to split it on that line. We're gonna widen it out to where it touches at the front and the back. And add some sheet metal to the middle. That will be in there. Okay. We lied. I hate it. We're not doing that. 
All right, so we cut a piece of the sheet metal to come out the front so that it would be the same color and widened it and kind of roughed it in with clamps. And it's not terrible. It's not my favorite, but it's not terrible. So I think we're gonna roll with it for now. Uh, and then once we uh, get ready, the sheet metal will come right here and cover all this up. And we're gonna keep the stock floor and we'll have wheel tub. Huh? So we gotta order some step balls. Yeah, we gotta order some new dies for the bead roller. And uh, we can sheet metal it. I don't know where I'm gonna hide my spare key then. I didn't know I had a spare key up under the bed rail until it fell out while we were cutting on stuff. <laughs> I'm only on this trip four and a half years, didn't know that was there. All right, so after some deliberations with myself and a little work, got this mocked up, we got the sheet metal clamps on to hold it all together, and it's not terrible. Um, like I say, come off here and sheet metal it, it'll fill in that gap back there. And so, ow. This tub is bent right here, so I got to hammer and dolly and get it back out where it'll sit where it's supposed to. We can weld it in and push the back back out a little bit, but actually this whole wheel tub is a little too tall at the moment. So I got to take a little bit off here on both ends and then some in the center too, it looks like, to get it dropped down. Actually, the center's there and the center's actually under there, so I think it'll be fine. I just got to take the ends down a little bit and get that fitting and then weld it all together and probably just gonna squat weld this around. I'll probably weld this solid and grind it down and then spot weld it around and spot weld across the top. I'll probably body work the top and seam seal the bottom uh, because I do want to paint this truck soon. <laughs> but that's where I'm at now and I'm gonna end this video here. And when we do the sheet metal work, I'll come back and show you how we done that. But for now, we're gonna get it on the truck and put some miles on that ground. What time is it? It's 11.30. It's 11.30 on a Saturday. There's much better things I could have been doing in my life, but here we are. <laughs>